Did you know the placement of peripheral lines or IV cannulation is one of the most commonly performed invasive procedure in acute healthcare settings with more than 1 billion lines being used annually worldwide. So it is an extremely important skill to master by most healthcare professionals. In our previous video that went viral, I described the reverse S-mark technique, the Hatzik technique, to facilitate identification and cannulation of peripheral veins in a patient with a difficult IV access. And the response of this video has simply been amazing. And if you read the comments in that video, you will see that many paramedic and nursing units have made that video a mandatory watch for the entire staff. However, there may be times when difficult IV access can be also solved by a simpler and faster method. In this video, we are going to describe the technique of triple tourniquet and I will teach two additional important principles for successful peripheral venous cannulation in patients with difficult IV access. So let's get started. Now, tourniquet is almost always used to engorge the veins during IV cannulation. Tourniquet is placed around the limb around at least five centimeters or more approximately to the site of intended cannulation and it's placed tight enough to engorge the veins with the blood but not as tight as to abolish the arterial blood flow into the extremity. This engorgement will make it easier for the operator to locate veins and to successfully thread the catheter inside. And there are two principles that most everyone forgets when cannulating peripheral veins. This is number one, the application of tourniquet requires time for the blood to engorge the veins. And while this is obvious, it is so common in clinical practice to see that the healthcare personnel rushes with the procedure without allowing sufficient time for the veins to fill with the blood after the application of a tourniquet. Advice. Apply the tourniquet and go about whatever work you have for another couple of minutes until the veins are filled and ready. Advice number two, apply the warm towel or warm compresses or a heating device such as a bear hugger or a similar for patients to relax and vasodilate. This weight, in addition to allowing time for the veins to engorge, will also substantially decrease the patient's stress and decrease the amount of vasoconstriction caused by stress and cold. So you're accomplishing several different things that will facilitate the IV cannulation. So here we have a patient who is exercising a muscle pump maneuver. What that really means is pumping of the hand forces the blood by muscles that contract from the deep muscle beds into the superficial veins. Now we have applied one tourniquet already. We are in the process now of applying the second tourniquet right there. And we're gonna go ahead with the third tourniquet. It looks a little bit um, grotesque. However, you have to understand if one tourniquet is helpful, three will be more helpful. It is very difficult for blood now from the periphery to go centrally and therefore the blood stagnates and tends to engorge the peripheral veins. And here we already are seeing some of the peripheral veins very quickly. Uh, again, stuff that we did not see before, the veins, they are now at the dorsum of the hand. Here's on the also forearm, we can see them as well. And they are on the volar side of the wrist as well. So there's plenty of choices uh, here. So again, very simple application of a triple tourniquet gives you plenty of choices. We have now selected the distal cephalic veins, so we have cleaned the skin, and we exercise slight tapping over the skin. What that really does is it causes a slight vasodilation that further enhances the veins. So that's a really very important maneuver that can be used to help um, veins recognition and engorgement. Now we're going to stabilize the hand, tense the skin, that stabilizes and fixes the vein and makes it a lot easier for the catheter to make its way inside the lumen of the vein. We prefer to bend the catheters very slightly because bending in the catheter allows you to enter at a very low angle. So that's really very important for us. Here we're going to use a 20 gauge catheter for this vein. Here we can see how big that vein is. Here we go, stabilize the vein. 
and that's the needle that goes inside the lumen. We get a quick flashback and voila. There was a placement of the IV catheter using a triple tourniquet technique. 